www.jiggyjagwhite.com. Okay, it is the big broadcast. It is coast to coast. It is border to border. It is iHeart Radio. Go ahead and get a hold of us online at jiggyjagwire.com. And uh, I think we might be connected on Twitch. I think Twitch might finally have worked. I'm going to go to my backup, though, which is uh, our Sunday radio Facebook page. So, we are going to see if we can connect here with our first guest. They are going to join us here on our big program, and we will go to uh, our first guest. I'll see if I can get them on the old Skip Skype, the old Skype Rooney. So, we had a lot of jumping around and all sorts of shenanigans. <laughs> but I think we may finally have Brain Cell with us today. Uh, I apologize for all the uh, shenanigans because we, we, we had a brand new program we debuted today on our network and uh, we had a guest cancel, and then I scheduled a guest at the last minute, and they didn't know how to use Skype, and it just became a mess. <laughs> so I'm just now getting to you. I apologize, sir. Hey, no problem at all. How are you? <laughs> pretty good, actually. Pretty good, actually. Good. So, so tell us about Brain Cell. You guys are fantastic. Tell me about this music. I appreciate the kind words. Uh, pretty much Brain Cell is just us doing what we like and that's creating music uh, in regards to like whatever we are influenced by uh, yeah we try we try not to put like a specific genre on it since everybody's got you know different influences and uh, different thoughts about music and everything so and we 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 don't really consider ourselves like a specific genre just metal because yeah it's just all over the place and in a cohesive manner. You know, it, it fits very well. So Lynchburg, Virginia. Tell me a little bit about the music scene out there in Lynchburg, Virginia. <laughs> uh, Lynchburg actually has a uh, decent following um, in regards to music, but um, it was very strong for the past several years. Um, over time, it, um, there hasn't been many shows because there's not really many venues in this area. Yeah, uh, we had a place called Phase Two, uh, which was you know bought by uh, the CEO of uh, the Blue Ridge Rock Festival owner, wow. or the the CEO. Um, but over time, I, I think uh, they're still planning on doing stuff. But as far as we know, uh, that was it's not really much going on with it. But um, that was pretty much the largest venue we had, uh, clubs club style, and it was actually really cool. Uh, but after the place uh, was put up for sale, there hasn't been much going on because you know usually we have like bars with like small stages or whatever that only yeah. hosts um, cover bands and stuff. Yeah, and it's usually up to the bands to actually just go out and find like you know you know rent a place and then find a sound guy. Yeah, just organized with each other, so it's yes. it's pretty pretty difficult. <laughs> we have got a great guest with us today. Uh, Joe joins us from Brain Cell, and uh, you guys have got some incredible music. Tell me a little bit about some of your musical heroes and influences. Um, me personally, I'm a big fan of Lordy, and it, it, I was into like. A lot of punk music for a good while, and the yeah. guys they're into like the more, I guess you would call it uh, melodic death metal or uh, progressive metal. Um, I don't really have anyone specific that would be considered like what you mentioned about like who who I look up to at least. Yeah, um, yeah. some of the guys you know from. 
having conversations with him for the past few years. I mean, Devin Townsend's one of them. Um, Sugar. Uh, that's awesome. Any of the death metal bands for Steve-O, I guess. <laughs> that's awesome. I, 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 I think that's great. We have got uh, a great guest with us today. The band Brain Cell is with us. So how did Brain Cell get together as a group? In the beginning, in 2013, after my last band had split up, I decided to start uh, you know, playing music on my own. So I used the nickname Brain Cell that was given to me from my previous band members. And then pretty much just started promoting uh, an EP that I've written. And then throughout the years, you know, just borrowed a few people to, you know, play a few shows. And then I think we legitimately started as a band in 2018, like officially formed in 2018. Yeah. Um, and since then, we've been, you know, rocking and rolling since then. You know, we come out with a couple of music videos. We released a, a self-titled EP together, which yeah. was really fun experience. Fantastic. Fantastic. It is Brain Cell. They're with us today here on a broadcast. So what's been the feedback you guys have gotten on your music so far? Uh, the word that really stood out the most after you know meeting a lot of people uh, through social media regarding the music is unique. Um, yeah. Like I said, it's not a specific genre, so it's like unique is one of them. And... It's it's just out there. I mean, we we've gotten a lot of good compliments on the the videos and the music. Uh, can you know from what it was in the past that when I wrote the the first couple EPs till now, you know, all of us have really been really cohesive on writing stuff that we enjoy and hopefully other people will enjoy too. We have got a great guest with us today. We are going to play Defensive Wounds here in a few moments. Tell me about Defensive Wounds. Defensive Wounds was actually a, uh, a concept that we kind of talked about of making it an actual, like a horror vibe. Uh, we wanted to, you know, write something about, you know, horror movies, you know, based on like the 80s horror movies and the, uh, the modern day horror movies, you know, like The Conjuring and uh, Friday the Thirteenth, etc., and we had a lot of fun doing that one. Uh, it, it took us a while to release it, but we weren't in a hurry because we wanted it to be, you know, absolute and very, very well written. So that's awesome. Now this video is pretty cool. Tell, give me some details on this. Fill me in on this on this music video. <laughs> we um. We had a couple locations in mind. Uh, we actually scoped them out, I think, the weekend prior to shooting the video, but we ended up doing it at my property. Um, we had a general idea of what we'd like to do, but um, the filmographer that we worked with, uh, Bobby Hitari, he, we pretty much let him do whatever he thought was necessary to make the video happen. And instead of just hiring actors, we pretty much just did it ourselves you know easy to communicate with each other letting letting everybody know hey this is what's going to happen now let's take this set and just go with it and uh that's great and we all shot it in one day uh the acting scenes plus the uh performance shots in the basement <laughs> so we were all extremely tired after that <laughs> That's great. Well, at least you guys, you know, took it upon yourself to uh, to 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 make it work. I think that's great. Well, we are going to do this. I'm going to put you on a brief hold here on Skype, and uh, then we are going to play this track. But before we go to the track, uh, how do people get in touch with you guys online and uh, support you guys' music and everything? People can reach out to us through, um, you know, we, we do have a, all the social media platforms, you know, Facebook, okay. Twitter, Instagram. Uh, you can find most of our merch if you are interested at uh, braincellbc.bandcamp.com. Um, so, 
and we have an email that's all connected throughout the uh the social media platforms as well fantastic well we are going to do this we are going to put you on a brief hold i will be right back and uh this song is pretty damn amazing we are going to go to it it is uh brain cell and they are great and they are on all the various social media platforms we encourage you to go over and support their stuff their music and uh everything that they are doing and this is defensive wounds and it is here on the sunday radio show we 
Holy shit. <laughs> that is brain cell defensive wounds. And it is the Sunday radio show of all things. Thank you for joining us. We're going to go back to Joe is going to join us back here on the old skip Skype, the old Skype Rooney. And, uh, that was, uh, <laughs> defensive wounds from brain cell. And, uh, bro, you guys made a fucking horror movie. That was, uh, an amazing video. I appreciate that a lot. <laughs> It's, that is, uh, you know, I'm I'm watching this, and at the very beginning, it, it you know, it gives you the warning and all the stuff, and I'm like, okay, this will be a simple little music video. It's a band, and they got some stuff going on, and they splice some stuff in, and, and they made this music video, and then I'm watching this thing, and I get halfway through, and I'm like, they literally made a horror movie. <laughs> like this is this is fantastic. Uh, when you guys got done with this, what, what, what did, what did you guys think of this whole thing? We, we knew it would be fun. Um, it, it was, we knew it would be a fun time doing it. Uh, we weren't sure how people were going to react to it. Um, you know, doing the actual set itself was, you know, we had to like, rec you know, shoot a few, few things here and a few things there. So it was yes. kind of like off track a little bit you know uh, we would shoot a certain scene this way and we had to do it in regards to how the sun was so we wanted everything to be you know uh, you know in order because if you yeah. did one shot too early or one shot too late you know the sun would be over well, here and the fact so. the fact that you guys shot it that way is even more impressive because most people would not give two shits about that whole thing. They would not have the continuity. Yeah. Uh, there is a famous, and I'm just amazed that, that this, that this got left in this movie after all these years, but there is a famous part, I believe from the Michael Keaton Batman movie, the original one with Jack Nicholson, mm -hmm. where they go into, uh, the art gallery and they start, you know, going through and throwing paint on the walls and doing all the stuff. And there is a scene in this movie where they have thrown paint on a certain painting and they've desecrated this painting. Oh, and no. when they go back to Jack Nicholson and he's doing his thing, that painting is right over his shoulder and has not a damn drop of paint on it. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> How the hell did Tim Burton not notice this when they were cutting this movie together? And so the fact that you guys were conscious of the sun needs to be in a certain part and we need to have this is pretty damn amazing that you guys set out to just make some little hokey music video. And at the end of it, you've made this masterpiece that is <laughs> not just a music video, but you've literally made like a little mini horror movie. It's amazing yeah, um, to me, man. Uh, we had a good friend of ours, Jay Brooks, play as the villain, and he actually had to leave around 1 o'clock that day. So, And we needed one more shot with like just the mask, and it was the part where our guitarist, Richard, kind of like stumbles down the hill and then catches his breath, and then it just kind of pans out to the, the villain behind the tree, and his eyeball moves a certain way. Uh, yes. that, was actually, that was actually me. So that's awesome. So we had to do that's a few awesome. things that just kind of were needed. And yeah. uh, of course, of course we were being as safe as we could, you know, with me using a harness for the, the hanging scene. And see, that was my next, my next question was that hanging scene is pretty fantastic. And uh, so you used a harness for this thing. Yeah. Um, any other way would have been, you know, dangerous. And oh, yeah. We weren't really trying to have like a, a real scene <laughs> in the music videos. So. <laughs> um, we actually took a few shots um, in relations to that. And, you know, you got everybody just kind of like 
poking fun at me because you know i've got this harness that's like giving me the ultimate wedgie on the backside. so it's yeah. there's a lot of humor involved with it as well <laughs> well i just think the fact that you guys uh, put as much time and effort into this thing as you did uh is is pretty fantastic because most people would have just been like well we're gonna do you know we're gonna we're, we're gonna shoot a music video and 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 be done with it i i've been around a ton of bands that have shot music videos and they're just throwing shit together <laughs> and, yeah we, and, we had a lot of we had a lot of time to talk about it too and uh just throw some ideas around and then when it finally came to happen you know we started at 6 30 in the morning and yeah. you know pretty much uh Jay and I went down to the, you know, to the, to the woods and just started clearing out paths, you know, like that way the cameraman can work his, you know, magic and, you know, scope out the layout of the land to make sure, okay, this could work. And then, yeah, because originally we're supposed to do it a certain way, but that, that wasn't going to work out for the, the hanging scene. So we had to like move up the field a little bit. So it all worked it worked out pretty good, and we had a lot of fun. I mean, it was tiring, but uh, you know, we did put a lot of effort into it as well. And especially in the basement, I had to build like a wall of pallets, you know, you know, just to cover up like a white wall, you know, yeah. just to make it more interesting and unique. Well, I I think the fact that you guys did as much as you did for this video really shows your commitment to the whole thing, and. Uh, it, have have you guys thought about doing more videos and, and, and things like this? Or We we have. Uh, we actually, you know, we're actually like a really fun group of individuals we like to think. So I think the, the next one that we are actually contemplating on is more like a fun and goofy video, you know, just to show a different side for us. You know, so yeah. it's not necessarily trying to be like hardcore and badass you know like all the time so we want to show and express our ourselves so we have been thinking about doing another music video with it's just being fun you know nothing too serious and just having a good time well i i i think you guys are pretty damn amazing because this is uh this is quite the feat that you've pulled off here it is, we uh, appreciate it. <laughs> quite the deal, my friend. Well, uh, what is next for you guys? Do you guys have any tours or anything lined up? What what what's what 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 what's, what's happening next? No tours at the moment. Um, we do have a few shows lined up. We got one in Charlottesville coming up in March 26th. Um, I think we are in talks with a few more people uh, around the region. But uh, I learned that we're you know, still steadily writing at the same time, you know, just putting it together a few shows, making sure that, you know, we can stay active and busy. And if people are yeah. interested, they can come out and see us. Um, but yeah, we've got maybe a couple of festival announcements later on in a couple months. So that's, that's what's, that's what's going on. We're that's great. working on, we're working on a new single now, which I think will be, a little bit more heavier than defensive wounds. Yeah. But you put more groovy in a way. So we'll see. <laughs> well, I, I think what you guys are doing is amazing. Thanks for making the time today to come on and chat with us. This definitely has been fun. And, uh, I look forward to uh, chatting with you guys soon. Have yourself a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it, brother. There he goes. That's Joe little from, uh, just an amazing band that 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 video is something else that's one of those things that it just it, it just stays with you for a little bit <laughs> well we are going to do this we are going to take a brief time out and when we come back we will do more on the other side it is your big broadcast here on 990 wbob 36 minutes after the top of the first hour we got more